dead. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty simple, wasn't it? I think it's not envious, it is. I, I, I admire it. Yeah. And I admire it. That's why I'm doing this with Sally. And I think we both are writers who like language. Yeah. I don't write for plot, I don't think it makes sense for story. I do. The thing that matters to me is what sense is sound. Um, apart from a writer, what would really love to have? Nothing else. Nothing else at all. It's taken me all my life to get here. I just wish there were more years in the world to be able to make I'm so thrilled to be same with me, there's nothing else I'd rather do. No, we're, we are really lucky to be doing this and, uh, and to be making a living from it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's extraordinary. Uh, if you could change the ending of any book, what would it be and how would you change it? I think I'd have to go to Cold Mountain. Is it Cold Mountain? Is that the one where you, they went for hours and hours and hours and hours and long, 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 long time? Cold Mountain, is it? Yes, I think it is. Where he finally dies at the very end after going through sort of agonies, sort of endless agonies. I think I would just ask him, please, no, don't do that. Not after we've gone this far. Trotted this far. Do you mean one of my books? Or? Um, I think that. you out of your the space that you're in before. Uh, oh, I think I changed the end of Paradise Lost. <laughs> so that it wasn't quite as grim. <laughs> and it wasn't so cruel. It's like God knows what's going to happen all through history. I would change that. Do you think might change the whole Bible? I think it might. I think it might. Yeah. I think, I think change the Bible is a Absolutely. I think, I know, we don't have Jesus crucified. That oh, picture, yes. That would be a great idea. Uh, absolutely, yes. I think that's a great one. Yeah. Yeah. I think writers have got to write what they want to write. Some readers can read what they want to read. Um, no, nothing in the world of YA children's writing that all kinds of books, and that's one of the great uh, great wealth of it. I agree. And you don't, no one has to read what they don't want to read. Yeah. And if it's not your kind of thing, it's fine. Do you have any tips for someone who wants to write Read, listen to audio, read, and write what you can, take notes, and bathe yourself in language. That's what I would suggest. Do it because you love it. Be, be lovely, you know, because writing is hard to be lovely, make your writing lovely. Love what you do, love full stops, love paragraphs, love sentences, love the sound of it, love the way words look and appear. And love what he said, she said. Yes. <laughs> love it. Rhythm. Um, do you think you have a favourite book? In the world? It keeps changing for me. At the moment, it's a book called Going Out to Catch a by Tim O'Brien. I read it about six weeks ago. It's a fantastic book about the Vietnam War. But I spent two weeks' time in the place. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I had one of the books I do admire in the Great Gatsby. I just think that's just not